Hello everyone. Welcome to Java Sumro Productions. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to design this creative alphabet letter art. Let's get started. First of all, launch Photoshop. Once it is opened, you will see this kind of interface on your screen. These are my recent Photoshop documents that I worked on. Let's click on Create New. I am giving it width of 1920 pixels and height of 1080 pixels. If you are following my steps, then make sure the unit is pixels. Make sure your resolution is 300 pixels per inch, not pixels per centimeters. Click on Create. Photoshop will automatically create blank white canvas for you. Now, I am going to select this type tool which is present right here in the toolbar. The one with letter T. This is type tool. When you right click on this arrow, it will show us these four options. Horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, vertical type mask tool and horizontal type mask tool. Shortcut key is T. Each one works differently. But that is not our concern right now. Let's take this horizontal type tool. Photoshop will generate the lorem ipsum text for you. I am going to double click on it and write capital M. Now, I am not happy with this font. Let's change it. To do that, you need to access characters panel. If you cannot find characters panel in your workspace, then go to window and choose character. Character panel will open up on right side of your workspace. In this characters panel, you can see so many options to manipulate the text. This includes font type, font style, font size, kerning, tracking, color and so many things. You can further make the text bold, italic, capital fonts, superscript, subscript, underline and strike through. I will explain this panel in some other tutorial. Let's give it a font type of Portilla. You can download this font from the link provided in description. Let the size be 250 points. I am going to give it red color. Color code is FF0000. Let's take move tool from this toolbar. Shortcut key is V. I am going to click on the text layer M. Now look at top of this workspace. This is options bar. If you cannot find this on your workspace, then go to window and select options. Look at these alignment options. You can align the text the way you want. If I click on these three dots, Photoshop shows all alignment and distribution options. I will set the align to canvas. Then I will center align it horizontally and vertically. Now the text is lying in the middle of the canvas. Now I don't need this white background. So I am going to delete this layer. If this message shows up, choose yes. Now we are left with transparent background. Let's import Mickey Mouse image into Photoshop. Let's enlarge it until it looks symmetrically perfect. Let's rename this layer. You can do this by double clicking on layer text. Let's write Mickey Mouse. Now at the same time with Mickey Mouse layer selected, press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of text layer. It should create the M selection on canvas, which looks like moving ants. Now, at the bottom of this layers panel, click on this add layer mask. If you want to move Mickey Mouse without moving the mask, simply unlink the mask from the layer. You can do this by clicking over here. The chain sign will disappear. If you click here again, the chain sign will appear back. Let's unlink it. Let's move Mickey Mouse up until here, like this. Let's link the layer with the mask. Now, at the same time, press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of Mickey Mouse layer. It should create the selection of Mickey Mouse on canvas, which obviously looks like moving ants. Now, click on the mask. Select the brush tool from the tools bar. Shortcut key is B. Make sure your foreground and background color are black and white. If you need to switch these colors, Simply click on this dual shape arrow. Or you can use this shortcut key X. It will action black and white between foreground and background color. 
When your foreground color is white, paint on the canvas to remove the mask. When your foreground color is black, paint on the canvas to apply the mask. Currently, my brush is too large, 1300 pixels. If you want to change the brush size, simply click on this drop down arrow. Then you can adjust the size and sharpness of brush. Let's keep the brush size to 100 pixels. Let the hardness be 100%. Make sure your foreground color is white. Let's paint on fewer areas of the selection. Let's paint on the head and hands. However, if you mistakenly paint the legs, then switch the foreground color to black to mask out the leg area. But what if I use the brush with 0% hardness? Let me show you. Let's first reduce the hardness to 0. Let's paint on the selection. See, it creates soft gradient type of mask on that area. And if I make it 100% hard, see, the area is sharp. But that is not our concern right now. So, I am going to undo this. Shortcut key is Ctrl Z. I am going to deselect the selection by simply clicking on the canvas. See, it looks so stunning. It looks like Mickey Mouse is picking out of M letter. Now, I am going to group them both. Select both layers on layers panel. Click on this icon at the bottom of this layers panel. Create a new group. Shortcut key is Ctrl G. See, both layers had been grouped together successfully. Now, let's select the group layer and center align it horizontally and vertically. Let's create a gradient background. To do that, click on this icon at the bottom of this layer panel. Create a new fill or adjustment layer. Then choose Gradient. Gradient fill window will open up on your workspace. Let's choose any of these two color gradient presets. Double click on the left marker. Write the color code E10019. Click OK. Double click on the right marker. Write the color code C64E0D. Let's write the custom name for this preset. Mickey Mouse. Click OK. See, now your background has orange red hue. Now, let's open the blending options for M text layer. Open the group and double click on M text layer. On this styles window, choose stroke. Let the stroke be 4 pixels. Position outside. Blending mode normal. Opacity 100%. Let the color be pure white. Color code is FFFFFF. Let's turn on gradient for this text. Open gradient editor by double clicking this gradient. Select the same Mickey Mouse preset from this gradient editor. Click OK. Now, close the group. Right click on the group layer and choose blending options. Turn on drop shadow. Let the blending mode be multiply. Color black. Opacity 50%. Angle 125 degrees. Distance, spread and size to 20 points. Click OK. Wow, see how beautiful it is looking. Now, let's get more creative. Let's select this M text layer. I am going to apply some shiny effect on it. To do that, go to filter and choose filter gallery. Photoshop will show you this message. Select convert to smart object. Smart object is very necessary to store the layer's original data. It also allows you to work non-destructively without losing the quality. If you want to learn more about smart objects, then I've added the tutorial link in card on top of this video and below in the description. In filter gallery, open artistic and choose plastic wrap effect. Set all the highlight strength, detail and smooth to 8 points. Click OK. See. Your M is glowing like a plastic material. Let's save the image as JPEG file. Go to File and choose Save As. Shortcut key is Shift Ctrl S. Write any name you want for this image. But make sure your save type is JPEG. You can also choose other formats depending on your choice. Click Save. Now, if you want to change the gradient, simply double click on the thumbnail of gradient layer. Double click on gradient to open gradient editor. Let's give it a hue of blue color. I am going to fast forward this video until I am done repeating the same steps for creating gradients.
Now, if you want to give same gradient color to M text, you need to open the M Smart object. Double click on the thumbnail of M layer. Photoshop will open new tab for you. Now double click on M layer, go to gradient and choose the same gradient preset. Save this tab and close it. Wow, see how cool it is. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any question, please write them in comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.